The insurance risks of farms and orchards are many, and a good underwriter really needs to know their core business so that they're not comparing apples to oranges. We raise 600 acres of fruits and vegetables. Uh, we are completely vertically integrated. We retail everything that we raise, uh, tree fruit, small fruit, every kind of vegetable you can think uh, is raised on our farm. And we sell those crops through our farm store, through Pick Your Own, through farm markets, and through CSA. And that means there are plenty of liabilities an underwriter needs to consider. According to Best Hazard Index, property scores an 8 on the list of hazards, making it one of the biggest liabilities. The property hazard will be serious, mainly because there will be agricultural chemicals on the premises. They are highly um, flammable, and if they are not stored properly, they could potentially explode, and they should be stored in well-ventilated areas away from ignition sources. Not to mention weather, which also impacts property, and business interruption, which scores a three on best hazard index. We get sort of a double whammy when it comes to weather because we're growing fruits and vegetables, weather impacts us on the growing side, and we also get impacted on the sales side. Customers want to come out when there's nice weather, so when you get bad weather, it, it, it hurts you in two ways. Then there's the matter of automobile liability, which scores a six on best hazard index. Farms have deliveries, they have materials they have to pick up. In some instances, they have employee transportation issues. So automobile insurance is one of the primary things that we deal with when dealing with a farm risk. Naturally, most orchard farms have employees, and given the physical nature of farming, workers' compensation can be a major liability. Workers will be riding tractors, which present several hazards. If they hit obstacles in the road, then they could potentially flip over and injure the rider. We have a great team of people that are hardworking and dedicated, but people get injured, right? Even with it, we have an excellent safety record, but you have to be prepared. We appropriately self-insure for small things, have workers' comp ready to go for anything that's substantial. Workers' comp scores an eight on best hazard index. Then there's the matter of inland marine, environmental impairment liability, product liability, and even crime. There needs to be proper supervision with farm stands to prevent theft of fruit. Also, some orchards have gift shops, so that's another risk. With all these liabilities, it's important that an underwriter knows all the risks that could crop up. As for the farmers themselves, they need to take action to mitigate the risk. When it comes to having people on the property, uh, it, it has to do with communicating appropriate risks, uh, having the appropriate signage in place to communicate a risk, and ultimately having the appropriate coverage to protect you if somebody does something foolish or, you know, there are accidents. Ultimately, it takes a true insurance professional working with the farmer on both mitigation and loss control. I couldn't emphasize more the importance uh, of a strong relationship with your agent. Uh, we sit down annually, review everything that we're doing. I try to identify new risks identify opportunities to change coverages. Is there something new that we're doing that requires a new coverage? Is there a strategy to help reduce a premium? You can learn more about the risks of farming and orchards, as well as many other industries when you log on to Best Underwriting and Loss Control Center at ambest.com. For AMBest TV, I'm John Weber.